to do is show you how to edit a photo in Photoshop really easily. So if you do your own product photos or any type of photos that you're taking, even it's for your social media, your website, whatever, I want to just teach you a quick way that you can use Photoshop, which is my favorite photo editing tool to make a crummy looking image look really, really good. So I want to show you the end result of this picture here, but I want to show you the beginning version first. So I'm going to start from the beginning. So basically I would have my photos. So have three photos here. You can see this one, it's really dark, right? I took this today with my new camera. I just got a new camera for my YouTube channel and you know, this image we just took really quickly and you know, this is not a great image. It's okay, but the quality is, it's a very dark and it just needs some brightening up. So I just want to teach you a few ways that you can take an image that you might take of yourself trying to get product photos and I want to help you do it in a quick way. So you take your photo, save it to your you know desktop, whatever. You open up Photoshop. So I have Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor. I think it was like $100. I bought it five years ago. I have it. I have access forever. So it's worth every penny in my opinion. You can save photos. You can resize photos. You can edit your photos. And it's an amazing tool for a, a product business. So I would open up. I'm going to quit my past version here. And I'm just going to pretend that I need to open it up really quickly. So I'm going to go to... Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to go to photo editor and I think I opened up the wrong one, but let's see if it works. <laughs> yeah, I opened up this one. Okay. So I need to open up the elements one. Sorry. My laptop is a little slow, so bear with me. Okay. So I'm going to, so basically there's two tabs I jump in and out of depending on what I'm doing. What I'm going to show you first is how to brighten up an image. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to resize an image. So you always have to resize your images for your website, for product listings, so they are the same size. For product listings, I like 600 by 600 pixels, but really it doesn't really matter. They just have to be the same size, whatever you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to resize them after. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to edit them, to brighten them up, give them some color and saturation. So. Go to expert, I'm sorry, go to, I forget which one it is, guided. Go to expert first, right? And you're gonna open. And you're gonna grab the image that you want to edit. So let's choose this one right here. Okay, so I have my image, right? And I'm gonna go to enhance. And honestly, Photoshop is, is a lot, it's a lot of things you can do. I honestly use really simple things here, but there's like a bazillion things you can learn to do with images. Even if you use the basics, it's still worth the money. So you go to adjust lighting. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. You go to um, adjust lighting, you go to brightness and contrast. So this is like the secret sauce right here. Ready? So watch what this will do. So if you go left, it darkens it. If you go to the right, it starts to brighten that little image right up for you. So that is the secret sauce right there. So you can see like the original image was this. I mean, that is not, that's not a good image for you to ever be posting on your Instagram, on your website. It looks crappy, right? But by just doing a teeny little brightness, now this looks like a nice image. It's a decent image, right? And then you can play around a little bit with some of these here. So you might do contrast just to see, just to see, play around with some of these just, just to see the difference of what it does. So I'm going to save that. And then this image here, I don't want to do too much to it. This is for my Instagram. I'm posting this today. I am going to be talking about one of my favorite books for product businesses. But my point here is that I just want to show you a little bit of how to play around with this. So for me, this image is fine. I don't want to do anything else to it. I just wanted to brighten it up a little bit. But what you can do is, especially for if you're doing pictures of your boxes, so your subscription box, you're doing sneak peeks, you're doing you know, a flat lay or something, you want to give that picture some, some depth, some brightness, and some color. So you'd go to Enhance. You go to adjust color, and then my favorite tool here is adjust saturation. 
So if you wanted to brighten this up more, you want to you want colors that pop. You go to saturation and just adjust it a little bit. So you can see how see look at how my skin is turning like orange, <laughs> and the book is turning bright orange. The dog is turning orangey. So depending on what colors you have, you can really have some fun with the saturation. So I'm gonna kind of go back to the regular one because I didn't want to add saturation, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, so this image looks pretty good. Um, I actually might go back and maybe brighten it up a little bit more. Maybe I'll play around with the shadows a little bit. So let's move this over here. Um, Lighten shadow. So let's remember it was originally at 36%. So let's maybe, let's lighten the shadows a little bit more. So see how that just made it a teeny little bit brighter without doing anything to alter the actual image. What we're doing here is we're not looking to take your image and like, you know, do anything crazy to it. We're just looking to brighten it up and make it look a little bit better. And then the other part of this that I want you to think about is when you're doing an image, when you're brightening up, when you're editing an image, you want to remove all this stuff that isn't relevant. So right now when I look at this picture, I'm looking at the book, I'm looking at the dog, I'm looking at the three picture frames above, but then my eye starts to go to the side where it's like the blind, I forget what those are called, the blind thingy. You can see part of the window here. Then over here, you're seeing like this stuff like that. You don't want that in your picture. You want a clean picture. You want the focal point to be this stuff here, not the distractions. So all you do, and the, it's automatically set up to start cropping. So see this little four square thing that I'm moving? I didn't even have to touch anything. It already is there to crop your image. So all you do is you just drag around on what you want in the picture. So I'm gonna drag this right here. So I'm cropping out all that extra crap in there. And so I like that. And then what I might do is then maybe crop this out here because I don't really like this little ceiling bit. But again, like you can do what you want, whatever looks good for your picture. But you can now see that picture went from kind of looking pretty crappy, just dark and dull. And now this is a really cute image, right? It's a cute image of the dog. I'm, I'm having my book that I'm gonna be talking about today because it's one of my favorite books. And you know what? And the more that I look at this picture, I kind of want to brighten it up more. So <laughs> you can go and just have fun with making the images look however you want them to look. So I will say that for website, social media, brighter images are going to work better for you. And you don't wanna, like, there's a difference between, let's see, so like 27, let, okay, so let's say I keep it at 30. But watch what happens. I know that you'll see this type of image that I'm gonna do is it, I forget what the phrase is, but you're bur it's like you're burning the image and so it's super like white and that's not what I want you to do. I want you to have a fine balance of making an image look good versus like killing it. So let's remember right now my brightness is at level 30. Let's move it up more and see what happens. So this is what I mean of burning an image. Like right here, you can't even see anything in the background. So that's not what I want you to do. There's definitely a fine balance of burning an image versus just brightening it up so it looks good. So in fact, this right here is perfect. So 27, I'm done here, done. So I'm gonna save it. I always save my stuff for the web. So no matter what I do, I save for web. And this is so important for my product people here. If you are using this for your website, you have to save for the web always. You can do high or medium. You know, if it's for a website picture, you know, either of those is fine. So I'm just gonna do medium. Actually, I'm gonna do high, sorry. Um, and then I save it. And then the last step here is, you know, I'm actually teaching you right now tactics on how to optimize images for your website. So it goes from everything from making the image look good to saving it for the web, three, titling it with a search engine friendly title. And then the last part is I'll show you how to resize it. So um, this image is of me with my dog. I have my book here. So I'm gonna title it with the book. So April Dunford on the obviously awesome business book. Carrie, oops, 
Harry Fitzgerald subscription box and e-commerce business coach. Okay. So you can see that is a very optimized title that is perfect for Google. So then I say, okay, you know what? I might want to take this and then I want to resize it to fit my website. And let's say my website on my product pages, I have, I use 600 by 600 pixel images or something. So I'm going to go to guided and I'm going to go to resize your image. So for a website, like I said, especially if you're, if you're doing images to your, say on your website, you have like sections where there's three images in a row and there's, um, you know, you're putting three different categories or something. Your images have to be the same size. Product pages, they have to be the same size. I cannot stress this enough. If you have images that are all different sizes, it's going to make your website look like shit. So please do yourself a favor. Buy Photoshop. It's $100. It will save you so much time and energy. You will make that money back immediately because you will get more sales. So basically, all you, all you did was open this feature, resize my photo, then you go over here. So again, web, you're going to select the size option. I click width and height. And then here, width and height, I'm going to do 600 by 600. That's it. It's so easy. It's, you can do it so quickly. 600 by 600 preview. So yeah, it'll chop some of it off depending on the size. Do I want that light in there? I don't think so. I think it's distracting. So let's, mm -hmm. yeah, it should be fine. Okay. So now we have, we've taken a shitty image. We've made it look good. We've resized it. It's titled correctly and it's looking really, really good. So I'm going to go and now save it. So again, we're going to save for the web. And then we're going to go here, save, and then we're going to, let's see, we're going to take that image that we just did. Mommy? Shh. And then we're going to go here and we're going to just click. So we now know 600 by 600 pixels. So basically now you'll have two different versions of your picture. You'll have one that you can use, say, for example, if you're going to be using a product photo and you want it to be the same size as other images. Now you have two images there. So again, I'll show you the before. So we went from this to this. So you can see this is a massive difference and a massive improvement. So when you're editing images for your website, I want you to go back and do this for everything. Your images on your website have to be bright, colorful, engaging. They have to be cropped. Get rid of that stuff on the corner. Get rid of, let me go up to the before. Get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of the stuff over here. Center, like use your focal point, brighten it up, resize it, title it correctly like this. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I love doing these videos, so I will be doing more soon. Let me close this.